So I'm moving into a new house, and I figured out that the house I'm moving into literally came with a cat. There he is. We can go see him. You seem very friendly. Oh my goodness. His family moved and they left him behind. He was very skinny. He was malnourished. His skin, you could tell, was really itchy and it was bothering him. But he was still really sweet and wanted to get pets. Oh, right. Keep, keep petting. Sorry. It was kind of an immediate thought of, oh, well, he's mine now. I mean, he lived at this house before I did. At the time, I had one dog and one cat already. We're going to get you all taken care of. And then a couple days after finding Coop. The girl, I like the name Rue a lot. Is there another cat? The second abandoned cat showed up. Hello. It's really funny how he pretty much just came screaming into our lives. Yeah, I heard you're taking in strays. You got room for one more? Hi. Coop and Ruth did not like each other. Oh. I don't think they like each other. His state was very similar to Coop's. He was underweight. His skin was really torn up. Do you belong to someone? He actually had a collar. I looked for months for his owner to no avail. He was not fixed. He had clearly not gotten vet care in a while. So that was actually our next course of action. Oh, oh no. Buddy. <laughs> to take them both to the vet and have them scanned for microchips. From the beginning, they were still living outside. They're very comfortable outside. I had actually tried to bring them inside separately. Make yourself at home, my guy. And neither of them liked being inside. They would just scream at the door like, let me out, I don't wanna be in here. Yeah, it'll be okay. But when the time came to get them fixed, they needed to be inside for their recovery. And I think once they came inside, they kind of forgot about being outside, having nice naps on a comfy bed and blankets and toys and catnip and ready access to food and water that was fresh and clean 24 seven. Screw outside, this is the life. I got from one cat to three cats and I thought, great, that's three cats, that's plenty. And then a couple weeks after finding Roof, we found two feral kittens under my shed. Hi, baby. So I ended up trapping them. They were about eight weeks old. So then three cats became five cats. And that was the point where I felt like this was getting a little out of hand. The boy made a lot of progress really quickly towards socialization. and the little girl was taking a little more time. She was much more timid. She was much more shy. My dad came over and pretty much scooped her up and she relaxed with him in a way that I had not seen her do before. And she just adores that man and that man adores that kitten. I mean, that is his kitten. So my parents ended up adopting Sadie and I ended up keeping CJ, the little boy, which is how I got to my current number of permanent cats, which is four. <laughs> I swear he was a kitten for five minutes and now he's 15 pounds. He is like having a toddler. Finn would like to think he's the alpha of the house, but Coop is truly the, the king of the house. Roof is so, so sweet. Truly the only thing he wants in the world is for you to pet him and give him a little bit of attention. They've both been very affectionate towards me from the very beginning, which I think is kind of strange because they're both very shy with other people. They all coexist pretty peacefully for the most part. It's been quite the wild journey and I don't think if you had told me at the very beginning that I would have four cats two years later and have fostered 16 kittens, I would have really thought you were joking. What a find!